Hello, thank you for joining me today. My name is Chuck Tuck and I'm part of the Aver team. Today I'd like to talk to you about the power of the Aver PowerPoint plugin. This tutorial is going to be based on the annotation capabilities and the easy toolbar. As you can see, I already have my slides in PowerPoint set up. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So in order to use the document camera within the PowerPoint presentation itself, you have to be in the live mode or what I mean by that is you have to start the slideshow itself. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'll start from the beginning. Integration everywhere, the power of the Aver PowerPoint plugin. As I mentioned, this tutorial is going to be based on the annotation and easy toolbars. Now you can use the Aver PowerPoint and bring your presentations to life by annotating or highlighting on any live document within the PowerPoint itself. You can also have multiple size windows any place on different slides. You can see here that this is a live image. I would demonstrate by pointing, pointing. So you know it's a live image. Now you can control the document camera itself from this window by clicking on the left here for the Aver Vision control. And we, first thing you see is the pause. So if I press pause, I've moved my pointer or my red pen and I'll press pause again and you notice that it's gone. So the autofocus will do just what it does. Autofocus, you can zoom in. I can zoom out if I want. Or I could do the zoom reset and it'll bring us back out to the 100% full size. Okay. The next icon is just going to be to rotate. So I can rotate my image. And the last one on the far right is image adjustment. So within the image adjustment itself, you can control the brightness, the contrast level, the white balance. You can do manual focus. You can do color effect. And color effect is where you're going to go from color to a negative mode. This is really good for schematics and diagrams and things like that. Or you could go into the uh, black and white mode. So. Let's go ahead and get this back up here and come back here, black and white, and back up to color. Okay. Now the last one here on the far right, this is going to give you different types of mode. Text mode gives you the, the sharpest and cleanest image possible. I personally like to use that one. Uh, you have your infinite mode and you have your macro so if you're going to have your document camera extremely close to your subject to your object you will be sure to have it in the macro mode or if you're using a microscope adapter go ahead and select the microscope mode uh, we'll go ahead and stay on the text mode for right now okay i also mentioned about the easy toolbar if you notice this orb on the left here this is the easy toolbar to activate it click in the center now you see that it gives us uh, controls for the Aver Vision document camera. We have the screen capture to take still images. We can capture videos. That would be video of your presentation here or what's underneath the document camera. And we also have some teaching tools. In the teaching tools, it gives you a ruler and a protractor. Now we'll go ahead and click in the center, bring us back here to the home and we're going to talk about the annotation capabilities. So I click on annotation, you notice that I have a number of tools. We have a freehand, we have a highlighter, I have a clear all, an undo, shapes, eraser, eraser just means that it erase one line at a time, and a straight line tool. So for this one let's go ahead and use the highlighter. If I select the highlighter you notice that there's actually different color rings around here. We're going to start off with the yellow. So I'll click on yellow and I have my highlighter. So now I can highlight in yellow. If I want to change color, just go ahead and select a different color around the ring. And you see how that works. Very simple. Now if I wanted to erase something, I can erase everything. You notice it's all gone or if I did not want to do that come to undo and it'll bring everything back if I meant to only erase one of the lines make sure I just select my eraser tool come over here select that and it's gone that'll work the same way with your straight line go ahead and select colors 
and there's a straight line. Your free hand, same thing, shapes, etc. All right, so if we want to get back to the home, click in the center, and it brings us right back here. Okay. Click again, and it reduces it. You can move this orb around any place. Again, this is the easy toolbar. So let's head to the next slide. Okay, so on this slide, you see that we have the document camera window in another area of the presentation, and it's been reduced. So as it says, you can resize and place the AVER document window anywhere on your slide. So, and again, the easy toolbar, that can be moved any place that you want. So that, that's about it. So hopefully this is going to help you out in presenting and making more dynamic PowerPoint presentations. My name is Chuck Tuck. Thank you very much.